Everyone's favorite former game show host Bob Barker just turned an unbelievable 99 years old this month. Of course, most of us remember Bob best after inviting him into our homes for 35 years as the face of The Price is Right, before he finally decided to hang up his cue cards and microphone back in 2007. These days, you can catch Bob either at home with his girlfriend of many years, Nancy Burnett, or investing a ton of his money into animal shelters to help care for those small creatures that have fallen through society's cracks. I'm going to talk a bit about both of those things today, but since Bob spends most of his free time at home, that's where we'll start at his Los Angeles house. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Bob's home is nestled into the foothills of the neighborhood known as Outpost Estates, which was an area of the city developed by the late Charles Toberman, a man nicknamed Mr. Hollywood, because he personally oversaw the construction of some of the city's most notable landmarks, including Grauman's Chinese and Egyptian theaters, as well as the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Toberman began construction on the Outpost Estates back in 1926, but he stopped after the market crash in 1929 as the world entered the Great Depression. Three years later, he was able to raise enough funds to restart construction, and he eventually passed away at the age of 101 years old inside one of the homes located here. In regards to Bob's house specifically, it's a Spanish colonial style abode built in 1929 and boasting 5,000 square feet of space as well as four bedrooms, an equal number of bathrooms, and a fully stocked maid's quarters. Looking at the home's architectural details, it's said to feature stucco surfaces, low-pitched tile roofs, and easy access between the interior and exterior spaces, thanks to a series of French doors all throughout the house. It's not entirely clear just how long Bob has been living here, though it's certainly likely that he's occupied the residence since beginning to host The Price is Right, back in the early 70s. He previously lived in this home alongside his first wife, Dorothy Jo Gideon, whom he married in 1945 and shared his life with up until her death from lung cancer in 1982. Even after the passing of his longtime partner, Bob refused to move out, instead choosing to remain in the very same spot where he spent so much time creating memories with his wife. In fact, Bob still visits Joe's nearby grave to this day, despite his own physical fragility. Following Dorothy's devastating passing, Bob would eventually open his heart to find love again, meeting Nancy at an animal adoption event in 1983. She's remained at his side ever since, even through a series of health scares, and now enjoys spending as much of her time as possible with Bob inside of his cozy LA pad. Of course, when it comes to the interior of Bob's home, fans have only ever been offered rare glimpses, and I do mean rare. After all, it's not like Bob was born in the social media generation. That means the only occasions we've ever seen inside his place is when he has opened his doors to press photo shoots. Like the time he took a few candid snaps next to his pet rabbit in 2011, or when he gave the press a look at all 18 of his Emmys. He's also given us a peek into what others have referred to in the past as a junk room, a space that holds a special place in Bob's heart, because it holds a series of important mementos regarding his past, including models of planes he used to fly back during World War II for the Navy. As for how Bob likes to keep himself occupied at home, well, according to Nancy, he's a big fan of watching TV and movies, though not necessarily The Price is Right. Nancy told closer weekly in August 2022. The price is right is different. It's nothing like it was, so it would be entirely different. He'd rather watch a movie or something now. I mean, Bob's feelings are pretty understandable when you take into consideration the fact that he was one of the longest running game show hosts of all time. But for as long as Bob's been around, his home has been around for almost as long. And a few years ago, it actually earned a special recognition because of it. In January of 2000, Bob Barker's home was declared a historical cultural monument by the city of Los Angeles. And no, it's not because Bob Barker lives there. It's actually because of how long the home has remained standing without any architectural work being done to it since its original construction date in the 1920s. Bob applied for the historic designation himself in March of 1999. Any homeowners seeking such a status have to apply through the city's five-member Cultural Heritage Commission. After a review of the property, 
and an interview with the owner, the commission sends its recommendation to the city's Department of Building and Safety and the City Council. If approved, the designation is processed by the Country Records Office and the Cultural Heritage Commission, then alerts the homeowner who can buy a plaque confirming their home's monument status. Basically, what the designation meant is from that point forward, Barker could qualify for a tax break given to owners of historic cultural monuments, and his house will be granted protection from being torn down even after Bob ceases to own it. When asked to comment upon the honor the home was given, Bob told the LA Times, I believe it's important for the city's soul that we protect and preserve as many of these historic and architectural treasures as possible. But Bob's estate isn't the only thing in need of protection. Over recent years, he's also had to start looking out for himself. As much as Bob's home might mean to him, ever since his retirement in 2007, it's also been the location of a series of frightening health scares. First in 2015, while walking along the sidewalk just outside his home, Bob tripped and fell, injuring his knee and creating a gash on his forehead that required multiple stitches. Two years later, Bob was hospitalized after injuring his head more severely following a slip and fall inside of his Los Angeles residence. About a year after that, Barker was back in the hospital, this time for severe back pain that was believed to have been caused by the original two falls. After nearly two months in the hospital, Bob was back home. Then in January 2019, he'd have one last scary fall and an ambulance was dispatched to his house. Thankfully, after receiving some treatment from the paramedics, he appeared to be okay. Now that it's been a few years without any scary occurrences, Bob's doctors are said to be pleased with how healthy he is, and Nancy attributes it to his decision to begin taking a full vegan meal replacement at her encouragement. In fact, even though he's now 99 years old, the only prescription medication Bob is on is for his thyroid. That's it. His partner Nancy recently told Fox News, so he does not take anything for blood pressure, cholesterol, the umpteen other things that most people take as they grow older. He's in very good health for his age, and his humor is still in good shape. He's had a very charmed life. Instead of worrying about himself, Bob's just got to worry about his home, because it seems like if he's not the one having accidents there, someone else is. Shortly after his own health scares, a stranger's car more recently slammed into the side of his house, right by his side gate. Thankfully, the driver was able to make a complete recovery, and while Bob and Nancy were home at the time, they were actually on the other side of the property when the accident happened, so no one was injured. It just goes to show though that someone will always be looking to come on down and pay Bob a visit, uninvited or not. Now that we know where Bob has lived for the past half century or so, you're probably wondering what he does with all of his vast resources of money. After all, his house is nice, but it's far from a mansion. But if you're a longtime fan of Bob, then you already know how much animals mean to him. Bob didn't just drop his recognizable send off at the end of each and every Price is Right episode because he needed something catchy to say animal rights are something he's always been passionate about. In fact, just a few years ago, he donated $2.5 million to PETA to build their Los Angeles headquarters, a place that's now known as the Bob Barker Building. With Bob's financial help, PETA was able to set up shop at Echo Park inside an 82-year-old building that was then freshly renovated and converted into an eco-friendly space. When the place finally opened a few years ago, big time celebs like Stephanie Pratt, Moby, Sasha Gray, and Diane Warren, not to mention Bob himself, were all on hand to celebrate the occasion and enjoy plates of vegan food served from Sage Organic Vegan Bistro located on the rooftop of the Bob Barker building itself. A spot that also offers picturesque views of the Hollywood sign from one side and the twinkling lights of downtown LA on the other. In other words, Bob might not live inside a gigantic home that accurately represents just how much he's meant to the city of LA over the years, but with his house being a historical monument and his name being plastered on the side of one of the most influential buildings in the city, Bob Barker's legacy is certainly secure for a very long time to come. All right, everyone, that is going to bring this Bob Barker house tour to a close. But before you head out, consider answering the following question. If you could dedicate your life to one type of charity or a cause, what would you choose and why? Let me know in the comments down below. I know for me, I would be like Bob and want to help all the dogs and animals out there who needed me. That's for sure. 
Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.